Okay, so I decided to try out some Kang here because of it's new um, and we're just doing the recommended because I rolled a d6 for each of the, uh, to determine which of the new module sets to try out with it and um, yeah, rolled poorly. So it's just the it's the easiest one. Uh, we've got to draw our hand. It's all set up. Um, there's no obligations in this. The Dominion cards are up here, and the expert villains are up there. So we should be fine. Uh, one, two. I don't think I use those two. I could see that theoretically, but I need to draw really well. I don't want to take a hit from Kang, no matter what. My HP is way too low for that. So. I think Fury is probably going to be played. And if I get any double resources, I can probably play the Beat Cop. Although I don't know if it's worth losing an Expert Marksman for a whole deck cycle for that. Okay, so I'm going to have two more cuts. So I'm going to have these two. I can only really hold one unless I get a double resource. If I get a double resource, I can hold two, but I need two double resources in order to hold three. No. Let's discard the beat cop. And just draw more cards. Okay, let's spend everything that's not Expert Marksman to play Nick Fury, drawing three cards. Of course, now's the time I draw this. Um, I like setting up the Confuse for next turn. That seems good. But I need the bow. So I am going to lose the Expert Marksman here, unfortunately. Four guys bow, which I'll immediately play. And the reason for this is with this double resource I can actually play Concussive Blow doing three damage and a Confuse. It won't matter this turn, but it will matter next. Um, I can then attack for two and attack for three. Give me a pretty good turn one. Like I've almost finished this and this is not dangerous at all. Just yet. Like I'm I've taken out half his hit points, it's turn one and we'll see how this goes. Uh he's attacking, so we'll block there. I don't have any obligations currently, so there's no he can have plus two attack, so it's not about obligations. Ooh, toughness. Uh, I'll give him two hit points back because I would have just attacked with Nick Fury first, because that was the weakest of the attacks I did. Uh, that was my bad. Anyway, I'm going to give him plus two attack because he's attacking a minion. He really kills Nick Fury. Then, two cards. First card, attach to Kang. When Kang attacks, the attack gains overkill. If the attack damages a hero, that hero is stunned. Okay. Guard, retaliate one. Okay. Ah, uh, you're already confused, so I'm probably flipping to alter ego. Let's clear the area first. I just don't need that. Um, let's set up a uh, Queen Carrier for future. Uh, 
ranged ignores retaliate, so I still have to deal with guard. I can't get to four attack. I'm not waiting for an arrow that can do four damage at once. So I'm just going to attack here to put three damage on it and flip to alter ego because he's confused anyway, so it's not going to do a lot. Uh, this goes up by one. I draw. Oh, I should have drawn six cards, and then goes up by one more from this, and then it's just one card here that doesn't go off because he's not attacking right now. Discard each event from your hand. Okay, that is rough. That's really rough. Uh, <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before I flip, I'm going to play... Oh, actually. Maybe I play Colson. Yeah, I'm going to play Colson. Oh, wait, no, this gets overkill, doesn't it? Uh, I'm thinking I can play Colson. Attack here. And I can't let this threat get up though, so I can't stay in alter ego. I don't think, not without a confuse, which I can't trigger right now. Let's pay one for this. Let's have a look at the top five because we're shuffling anyway. Let's look at the top five this way. Six. I can do it, but I have to flip to hero, which I don't want to do. I'm pretty sure this kills me. Let's kill the guard. One, two. One, two, to pay two to do that, to drop him down to three. Now it's ready. Draw my five cards. Put this to three. And now I have to hope that he doesn't kill me here. He's got five attack, so he can kill me. I have the capacity to knock him out as well. But only if... No, I'm going to have to take this hit. Down to one hit point. And that's discarded. And I'm stunned. I had to take the hit because of the stun. Otherwise I could have used concussive blow. Um, one card. Oh, that stops me from winning this turn. Not winning, but like triggering the next stage. Let's see what's on the top. Electric arrow, vibranium arrow. Vibranium arrow lets me kill that without having to Attack it. I attack to clear the sun. I vibranium arrow. To do that. One, two, three to do concussive blah, uh, blow. I should have one more threat on here. There's no way I was taking the boss to attack last turn. Um, I'm going to have to remember that. That's going to be rough. Uh, anyway, that, that triggers him. Uh, so that puts him into the at the end of the phase advance to the next stage. 
I'm going to flip to Alter Ego and I'm going to play this Skilled Investigator. Now, this all comes back up. I draw six of these cards. End of the phase, this is removed. It's not discarded all altogether. Uh, I'm not sure how this works. Plus one acceleration to really just each player reveals a random stage free. Remove any unused stage frees from the game. I reveal this one. Mortis. Now I'm fairly certain this doesn't progress to the next one because of the way this scenario functions. I'm just going to play it like this, like it's one play area, even though it's not really because um, yeah, the, it's just <laughs> easier when you're playing solo. Ah, uh, it's got 22 in toughness. Cannot take damage while minion is in play. I finally got one of these, uh, the, the other marksman. Um, okay. Okay. Can I draw that card? Cannot, because there's no threat on any on this scheme. So let's have a look at it. It's a strength. That's still used. Um, okay. I don't really want to flip to hero. Uh, oh, I guess I could flip to hero and electric arrow. It's not the end of the world. Oh wait, that's expert marksman was what I was trying to play. Let's heal up to four. Flip to hero, and I'm just going to go one, two, one electric arrow to move the tough and place a stun. Which actually doesn't give me any options at all. Uh, I'll hold on to the Sonic Arrow for next turn, um, and hopefully I won't take a hit, because I'm dead if I do. One, that goes away. First card. That's just two threat. Second card. That's actually really rough right now. I don't defend it, but I don't don't want that minion either. Um, so the top five cards. I can get an explosive arrow. That seems pretty good right now. In fact, I can only get an explosive arrow, so let's just grab it. One. Kills that, does free damage here. Oh wait, they're simultaneous. It won't do free damage here. We've got already the bow. To play Sonic Arrow. And a confused. Let's cycle clear the area. So we're getting rid of that using clear the area, which draws us a card, and then skilled investigator triggers, drawing us a card. I think I go under surveillance here. Well, maybe I hold. No, no, I got a better idea. Play Mockingbird, 
but I hold on to surveillance. And Mockingbird will do 2 damage. Then I flip to Alter Ego because I just need to currently. I do not have the hit points. That gives me 5 cards to draw. I go up to 2 here, Confuse goes away, and then we get 1 card off the top. Okay, that's a 4 threat side scheme. Discard cards from the counter deck until the minions discard, put that minion in place with the player who defeated the scheme. So if I was to defeat that scheme, it would get me a minion, which I probably just don't bother. This downside of losing this is not that bad. Um, okay. I don't know if I need that currently. I definitely need the expert marksman as soon as I can because that's really part of my whole game plan. Um, my quiver can have a stun arrow, which means it's probably going to lose a stun arrow this turn. Uh, yeah, looks like a stun arrow is going off. Um, let's heal. Let's fought for two off the main scheme. I want to stay on this scheme as long as possible. While I'm building. While I'm building. I'm one, one resource short of what I actually want to do. Let's do it. Let's just change what I want to do and go for something slightly, slightly less. Go one. That's the wrong counters. Oops. Okay. And the reason you do that is when you flip to hero, you can go. One, two, three. Getting us a concussive blast, blow. Sorry. Uh, and then I will might as well use my bow as well. And that was a electric arrow and a concussive blast, giving us. This. Now, if I take damage, I have mocking. I have mockingbird to block the said damage. If I don't take damage, which is more likely because of the stun, I should be able to heal next turn. Uh, sun goes off. That's on two. One card here. When defeated, shuffle it into the deck. Okay, that's not the end of the world. And that's a plus card side scheme, so I really want to defeat it. Oh, and I should have already drawn my five cards. I gotta clear the area. Let's start with the clear the area. And that triggers the Skilled Investigator as well. Let's then look at the top five. Cable Arrow. I don't plan on actually using it. I haven't used that yet, have I? I've only cleared the area. No, I haven't used that at all. Um, okay. So I was going to focus on building. I should actually focus on building. Um, he's already confused. None of these cards actually build my board state, so let's get rid of those four. To play Nick Fury. Drawing three cards. Uh, 
No, let's use the, both of those to play the B-Cop. V-Cop's going to grab a thing off there. There's no point holding this in my hand, so let's just Sonic Arrow for 5. Flip and heal. I can almost kill it this turn. I don't even need to kill it. Let's move 2 off here and keep my Mockingbird around. Six cards. Uh, one, two. Confuse goes away. Uh, alter Ego, so nothing happens there. It just surges, and then a guard will retaliate thing. That's so frustrating. Particularly as I've got my other Vibranium Arrow in hand. That should be up. Put that in the play engage with the player who defeated this scheme. Can I get an Explosive Arrow? No, only Cable Arrows. Don't see the point in healing for one. So let's do a vibranium arrow. Oh wait. Let's trigger this. Scott off the top until I get to a minion. Oops, I shouldn't have flipped hero. Oh well. <coughs> ah. Sorry about that. Um, let's go Vibranium Arrow to kill that. Let's attack to kill that. Then start looking at board states. Oh, and I should have drawn a card earlier when I discarded that scheme. Um, Okay, I got a plan. I go one, two, three to play Colson, which grabs back counter intelligence. One, two to play counter intelligence. You're not stunned. I got blocking bird though. I gotta work out if I need to remove Brett from the scheme or not. Um, I don't believe so. I'm pretty sure it's safe to leave up. Which means Colson can have maximum bonus shenanigans on the next game. I don't need these Sonic Arrows right now. Uh, this goes up to 5, he attacks, it's not blocked by blocking bird. Spend a resource. Oh. He attacks me, I am stunned, apparently. This comes back to my hand. That's kind of mean. One card. Two 
to one damage back to the attacker. Okay. So, we are back to the start of the hero phase. I'm going to activate this. Grabbing the Vibranium Arrow. There's not much I can actually do building, building out the board any further. So I'm going to not flip. Tactically this done. Into Vibranium Arrow. Oh wait, not into Vibranium Arrow. Into attack here, which clears the Temple Shield. Into Vibranium Arrow, which kills King Amortis, which discards this. And then at the end of the phase, I get to join another area. Where's Kang three? Got two. Let's head off to the side. I really didn't need to go this hard, like uh, I'm gonna flip to Alter Ego. Am I going to flip to Alter Ego? Maybe I don't flip to Alter Ego. Is Mockingbird or Nick Fury better? I think Mockingbird's better. Yeah, we'll go Mockingbird. Um, Mockingbird downtime and we'll stay in hero form because I still have this as an option and this is a blocker on the king so yeah end of the phase I join here because there's no one else here because there's no one everyone's here this goes away and we get to stage four this comes out we don't have any dominions under here because Um, we don't have any dominions under there because I didn't mess up the stage 2. This guy comes out, deals 2 damage to me. This should all be ready. Um, I got 5 cards. There's no acceleration tokens on this. I probably should have refreshed myself on what Crossfire does before I did all this. Oh, it's not the end of the world. Okay, first thing. Got 25 hit points in toughness. Second thing, this goes up by one. Third thing, this guy attacks. I'm going to block with Colson. I'm going to opt to take the two damage there because I can heal for five. Okay, next thing, one card. I took the boss to attack one here because of Colson was being killed. Um, regardless. Okay, he's scheming for five. I'm glad I'm a justice player. One. Two, three, for a concussive blow against here. I know it's not going to do any damage, but I've got a bunch of things that are going to do free damage. Two, 
explosive arrow is pretty good right now. Uh, it doesn't kill that. I want to recover, so I don't think I want to use that for that. Um, oh, actually. Ready that. Cable arrow. Look at the top five as well. Grab one of them out. Well, it has to be vibranium. Which is probably the best one there anyway. I'm going to remove one from there to put it on bait cop. I'm going to flip to Alter Ego. I'm going to set up a target acquired. I think it's better to kill Crossfire. There's still an advance in the deck. The deck's getting kinda low. I still think it's better to kill Crossfire. He's only scheming once even if he gets an advance. And there should be a damage on here. And I've got um Kano Intel. Six. What do we got? Confuse goes away and then one card. Uh, attacks you. Okay. Discard the top card of the encounter deck. Take. Okay, yep. So he has like an indirect explosion thing. But I have an explosive arrow, so he's dead anyway. Not a problem. Not a problem. Probably play this beat cop. We'll see. Uh, recover. No matter what. Explosive arrow is the best use of my arrow abilities. Flip to hero. Explosive arrow is the best use of my arrows, definitely, because it kills this and does some damage up here. I'm going to throw it for two off here. I'm going to clear the area. I'm going to set up another one of these. I'm going to play Beat Cop. I'm really not. I'm pretty sure I've used that already this turn. Oh, maybe I didn't. Huh. <laughs> no arrows left in the deck. Um, theoretically, I already have that information. It's not information gained from the from me playing the search wrong because I could check my discard, but. Let's draw my five cards here. Put one here. I'm being attacked. I've got tons of extra resources, so let's just see what happens. Four, four damage. Let's bring Mockingbird back to hand. Ah, oh, six damage because I was taking the boss to attack. Like. Shuffle it back in instead of whatever you normally do. Do I have a clear the area currently? I do. That seems pretty good.
I don't think I play Quake this turn. Which means I can clear the area. Which will move this to thicken this deck a little bit. Okay, that's a really good play right now. I don't know if it's as good as Concussive Blow though. One, two, Concussive Blow, 16 and a Confuse. Should do something with these arrows. Should have done that too earlier, but whoops. Let's drop him down by three more, then flip to Alter Ego, then set up an under surveillance because that's the way I lose. Oh, and then remove a threat because I have a beat cop I haven't used yet. Two, four. That's I'm pretty sure that's game or close enough to. That goes away. First card. One, two. Second card. Shadows. That's gonna surge. Yeah, because the set aside nemesis minion is not round to stop it from surging. It's going to double surge. Uh, anyway, I need to also search this for Mockingbird. Who is captured? Two. Court of Guard. No, that's a resource. Boost effect we'll get rid of. Place boost threat, threat on the main scheme. That's not going to matter. And that gets me everything. Now, do I win this turn? Explosive arrow. Okay, let's see if I can make it super easy by looking at the top five. Vibranium arrow. There we go. That makes it super easy. Because I can even, like, recover to full. Can I recover to full? Yeah, I can. Cover to full. Flip. Vibranium arrow. And then use a concussive blow for the win. That's actually four. Okay. That worked. That worked. I need to mark these down. That was Kang and Claw. How am I going for time? Hour and a half? I can do one more. Can I do one more? Yeah, I think I can fit in one more. Uh, maybe not something as um, I 
technical as Kang. What do we want to do? Uh, maybe, uh, no, no, actually, I think I'm going to have to call it there. The, um, oh my god, I just realized I just streamed a whole section on the hold image. <sighs> Oops. Yep. Oops. Oh, well, anyway, I'm calling it there. Um, I apologize to anyone watching the VOD that you didn't actually get to see me beat Kang. You got to see a hold image the whole time. This is why I should not be in charge of scene. Oh well. I'll see you guys next week.